Abby. Yeah. You think you could help me make an unboxing video? Yes. Super easy project. Just about anybody that is into DIY can certainly do this. The only other little thing is that we have to do a little modification to this. This is the air gap. So we're going to utilize that hole. We're going to take that hole for this guy and we need to reroute this directly to the garbage disposal underneath. Abby, go ahead and turn off that hot water supply over there. Righty tighty, right? Yep. We got a quarter turn supply. Here we go. And we also have multi turn supply. A little fun fact about multi turn supplies these guys right here. You want to open them all the way, all the way up, and then turn them back half a turn. It'll last forever if you do. Um, I got a mix match because I'm a plumber and I just used what was in my truck. All right, so we got the air gap out. How the air gap works, it's kind of an interesting idea, right? And the, idea, the intent is so that food doesn't end up back in your dishwasher. So water comes, water from the, from the dishwasher comes up this hose, up to the top of the sink, comes up through the middle here, hits the top of that piece that we can't, we took off, goes back down here into this black hose and then into the garbage disposal. Um, that keeps it, makes it impossible. It's called an air gap because there's a physical gap between where the water comes out. Um, that keeps it safe. Um, Newer dishwashers now have what we call a check valve in it. It's a little flap that's built into this hose. So this isn't necessarily needed. Some jurisdictions, some depending on where you live, still require these, some don't. Um, mine does, we're breaking the law here. But uh, <laughs> my dishwasher is gonna keep us safe, so I'm not too worried. But we're gonna put back on here. So this is the inlet side of the dish garbage disposal. And I should be able to just stretch that out over the top of this. Going to add a hose clamp here. We're all done. And one thing to note for all the plumbers and the really good, savvy do-it-yourselfers is that this hose right here, this dishwasher hose, should be looped up high. So we create sort of a fake air gap. All right, so I'm going to take off the hot water supply line here. Remember this tea they gave us, Abby? Yes. Remember this? They yes. call this like an add a tea. This little part goes right on top of the existing angle stop. For those of you that are installing one of these after watching my video, and you go, wait, Aaron. My angle stop doesn't look like that. Mine looks a little different. My supply lines are pressed on to my angle stop. I got these white push-on acorn uh, angle stops. That's why we're here. We're here to give you a hand for when the YouTube video doesn't look exactly like your application. If we had to come by, you supply the parts. It's uh, 150 bucks for the glass washer. Uh, two hours of our time, probably about five, six hundred bucks, something like that. All right, Abby, so that nut goes on underneath, right? Yep. Let's go. Go for it. Okay, now where is it? It's not very often I get the easy job. Hold it straight. It's good to have a second hand for this. If you're working by yourself, you tighten that thing up as tight as you can get it by hand, and then you usually have a little bit of play left to get it where you want it. And then the last little tight is always tricky, but you just got to figure out your own little trick on it. I like to hold if you can get both hands up there. One hand holds that stem coming down, and then you use a tool that's called a basin wrench. Like this. We'll show you that in a second. This is going to be the best way to depict this because there's no way we're getting the camera under there. But this tool is called a basin wrench. It flips over to tighten and loosen the nut that's on the underside of this. We're gonna use this as a representation of that. You can see this nut, right? Righty tighty when we're looking up from the bottom. And how this guy works, opens up like that. And you're able to turn the nut, right? And the spring will allow it. Turn back, right? Tight. Tight. It's hard to show it. See? Now 
telescope out so that we can get it way up inside there. So there's the final touch. Comes with a nice little trim plate so it looks good on your counter. All good. All right, Abby, give it a test. <laughs> That's fun.